I did Grab this and Greg. Grab on to me. No! Are you from Grab on to the edge? <sighs> okay. You got it. I think. Or see. Yes. But this is like Greta tagging in the air? No! Come on, horsey. Let's go, horsey. Again with the climbing. <laughs> horsey. Haha. -ha. I made it. You're my horsey. Beanie, now. Nee, 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 nee. Shit. Oh, bro made it. Oops. Oh, no. Beanie, nee, 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 nee. Oh, what oh, the fuck? I love this. this. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Bro oh, this is tried easy. to jump the whole course. <laughs> he failed miserably. That's the spirit there. He tried. Oh, hot lava. I can't do that. No! I should have set a checkpoint. La 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 la. I'm to the sign. I don't have very. I might be 5'7, but I don't have very long arms! Mm. Eh, eh, eh. No! Ah, you can do that. I'm sorry, guys. Just it's just that I You can do game. that, though. Hold on. Oh, let me make a um. I haven't pole. played this game before. Oh, I'll, I'll me neither. This is my first time playing. Oh, God, what the What's this? This is literally my first game. I know what it's doing. Whoa, you got it. Oh shit. Okay, okay I made it. Okay. Checkpoint. What the hell? How, how do I set the checkpoint? Oh, you got a grappling hook? Menu. Come on. Hurry up. No! Oh, my! Leave me alone. I suck at the game. It sucks if the other yeah. person grabs you. You can't, you can't hold on anymore. Shut the freaking end. I'm not going to let you grab me, though. Why not? Did I play Echo Arena? What do you mean? Oh, come on. No! <laughs> freaking, you freaking make me, <laughs> make me fall. I suck at this game. Leave me alone. It's 12 o'clock at night, okay? I'm tired. I'm a 12 year old. Go to bed. Don't push me. Get off. That's the lava. How do I set a checkpoint again? You don't. Don't let him see. Oh, ah! <laughs> yes. I freaking hate this. No, you don't. I'm so good. So freaking good. As a... no! Why can't I just grapple over it? How come you guys can set a checkpoint, but I can't? Uh, No, like once you, you hit the... Um... Oh, shit. You hit the menu button. Yes, yeah, see, I no, set it over. You so fell. I'm sorry it's taking me so long. Hey, look, 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 look. <laughs> I'm grabbing on him. <laughs> oh, shit. No! <laughs> no! You're the person who's doing it! Hey, there we go. Hello. I can't see! Get out of my face now! You oh, piece shit. of crap. Oh, you pushed me. <laughs> my checkpoint right here. We're a mist. I saw a bro fall. No. No, no, no! <laughs> okay, I made it. Open the menu to create a checkpoint. Okay. This is funny. I opened the menu. Now, where's my checkpoint? <laughs> Look up. Uh, where's my checkpoint? Open the menu. Open the lava. You How do you even open the menu? I don't open see the, it. Open the menu. Open I'm the blind, menu. okay? Create checkpoint. It's, a, it's oh. the blue gem right there. No, it's not. Oh. That's mine. No, it's his. You're a liar. No, open the menu with your left Leave me hand. Leave uh, button. Stupid light blue. Oh, create checkpoint. No. Ah, okay, I just did it. <laughs> I grabbed all of his face. <laughs> Wee! Great checkpoint. I grabbed all of his freaking face. Let me go. Get out of my <laughs> Right. Create checkpoint. <laughs> ah, no. I threw the dude off. Get out of my way. Wee. What did you get? 
Wow, hold on. I think I can clear that whole gap. Get out of my way. Uh, I think I can, yeah. Okay, I made it. I, okay, I just cannot on your jump. Button. On your left I can't jump for the life of me. I, I said someone clear the whole gap. Checkpoint, Look, please. look, look, look. <laughs> oh, shit. Press the menu button on your left <laughs> controller. Okay. Oh, my God. Hey, watch this, look. I'm gonna clear this whole gap. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Controller. No, go. Go away. Leave me alone. Mm. No. 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 Yo, watch this. Watch this. A piece of crap. Quick. Get to the wood before he does. No. Get out of my face. Get out of here. Stupid. How do I chase my... Uh... I can't jump for the life of me. Oh, okay. Okay, okay do not move. Do not Is my mic even on though? Press the menu. Press the menu button on your left controller. What? Wait, left? Okay, left. It's the, it's the button. It's the button on the left controller that you I can pr click. I pressed the left. I pressed the left. The menu button. Like, in-game menu button. On your wrist. Yes. Left one. Oh, wait. He's lying. Click the both yes. of the joysticks. It's on your watch. It okay. tells you what to click. Click, now, click the joystick twice. Click the joystick. Don't just throw yourself with one hand. It says also, click lava. What? Click the joystick at the same time, you'll get one. If you're on the menu, it says click. Wait, what? Okay. Press the menu. What? What did you say? Click the thumbsticks button as you just make one. Ooh. You, you left. You can put them in there. And you cannot jump. Oh, I see. Ooh. It's a spy. <laughs> Yo! Ow. Whee! Ow. Now, this is fun. That was fun. Wait a minute. Big spider man. P. To the credit check point.
Thanks, buddy. You said it already. Okay. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. I think somebody threw the lava. Okay. Keep going! Go! Yeah, yellow, stay still. Stay still. Yoke. Stay still. Yo, you blue! Who the broke? Who the broke? Stay still. 
Pull it, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Ah! Is it still yellow? <clears throat> Alright, thanks. Oh, Where are you, fatties? Alright. Shit! Move you! No, that shit before his eyes. Shut up. Yeah, shut up. Okay, I need this guy. Is it right here? Yeah, like I'm just gonna jump out the whole thing. If there's a next level, can you please go to our next level, please? Uh, you guys are gay. Yeah. Eat out it. Let's go. <laughs> no. <laughs> I fell. Oh no no! I need someone. Pink. No. You be my test subject for me. There's no way you don't grab. You don't grab one of those. Hey, stop. You grab one of those? Oh my gosh. Get the fuck off. Yes! Oh, the one piece is, isn't real. If I do oh, not make this, then I am. Real. If I make this, then I will be a famous real Tacti Taco real. And if you make it, you'll be sick. Joking. Oh, you make me go out like Chris Tucker. No! What the freak? You know. You're me. I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Jeremy Dawes. Our main headlines tonight. Daddy, it's starting! Get every single one of you's a bit Jesus. Jesus. What a wild ride this has been. Well, that's a very blunt question. The device is lying to you. Friends and neighbors, and have confidence that the team will keep you safe. But now you start to see it. Yes, eh? The people never happy, it's never enough. Hello, believe you. Are you saying that advance have cured death? Jump off! We're still vassal sla slaves, we're just in prettier cages. Oh my goodness. Right, this one. I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Jeremy Donald. Here we go. Our main headlines tonight. Stains. Daddy, it's starting!
It's my idea. Okay. That's what makes it happen. So it's into the music taste. It takes us out of the road. And I know for a fact that this doesn't smell like that. The complimentary drinks sir, go down smooth. The surf on the wings. How many bow beauties do you want? You stand in line and get the clothes and say, okay, so this is the hilarious person. Oh, I think this is the... I think this is the... You notice your 14 year old son is at home. There's a note on the kitchen table. The most unlucky one of all. It says he's at a friend's house. It's a school night, so you go over there and watch him home. Just right. To the master over there. The family has to This is a message from the Winston family. It's missing a color of W some jobs. I'm sure there's a person who uses my message for but he wasn't exposed to it. Excuse me, what for Dipson School? Please send me the passport. Please get in my office. The students are here. Can I receive your share of the national name? First play this game, I ain't giving that fuck a fast word. Okay, he was mad at me or not. But I'm trying to see how it plays out this way. You have a crust smile as you look around the table. The snow has stuck in the grass outside. He has a pony. You did always have a sauce back in this. He's sitting at the end of the table. That's what he's doing. I'm going to see I in the of the Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus Christ, this is for me. It's so good, thank you. Can you say it? It's not because I can't do it. The room is for voices of laughter. I love you, I love you, I love you. I had to make the best out of a shitty situation, man. Fine. Particularly long day at work, you come home to find a whole sweaty 
is a mistake in the dark. Also means the usual rubbish. But a letter with the increasing fin. your advanced logo and urgent response immediately. That's your friend. In the front and the correspondingly urgent. Where the fuck crash your attention? Let's get it over. Good with some resident. This letter is to inform you that the advanced government has taken another step forward in our fight for equality. By nationalizing the largest private corporations, distributing their resources among the citizens of this great country. If I showed that advertisement, would that like boost? Hmm. Does it have shares in it? Good evening, Alex. It's Boozman here, your boss. While you're powering up and getting the adverts loaded, I thought I should just tell you that we've had one of those public information films from the government, and it's mandatory that you play it. You still have a free choice for the other two, so read those tape labels carefully, but make sure you play the advance advert, preferably at the second break. Right, that's the lot. Have a great show. saying he chose his imaginary friend in the sky over you. I don't know why I've talked to you. The problem is a really awful date. Ten seconds, everybody. Like I said, all of you. Did your personality actually slip out? Correct. It's going in five, <laughs> four, three. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. And I'm Megan Wolfe. Our main stories tonight. Uncooperative. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, I'll be asking what this mysterious symbol might mean. After three months of record-breaking approval ratings, could this be the daring first move of a silent resistance movement? And what would that mean as we go into the future? A house divided, trapped in Dante's taint for more than a month now, Embittered doctors Ingrid Sforsborg and Horgensvord and David Wong announced today that they're considering two possible options to end the growing tensions. Since splitting into two opposing camps on day four of the expedition, relationships between the factions and their leaders have only worsened. To avoid escalating conflict, the two rival leaders are discussing partitioning the cavern into two clearly delineated areas, rumoured to be named Wongstown and Sporsborg in Horgan's Boardwalk. Bluff avoided. As the last Mr. Snugglehogs is found and destroyed, we ask, how can we have been so blind? Fortunately, this station wisely chose not to advertise Mr. Snugglehugs, and the subsequent disappointing sales turned out to be a miracle, as only seven children were horribly injured by the lethal toy. How much worse could it have been? Thankfully, we'll never know. Julia Salisbury, who mobilised numerous government resources to recall the product immediately after the first blindings, said today that the new advance mark 
which must be earned by all new products, would be a 100% ironclad guarantee of safety and quality. Table for two. Johnny Hansley's and Tiffany Lamour were spotted having a private moment out at lunch today. The popular couple have certainly been on a roller coaster since they started dating late last year. And this image is sure to place them firmly back in the tabloids. Could we be on the verge of the biggest celebrity wedding since professional wrestler Randy Grizzlenuts McFridge married his longtime tag team partner <laughs> Tina Tiny Hands last year in a wrestling ring made entirely of cake? Is this one celebrated role model about to become the bad boy of sport? And onwards and upwards. In an attempt to put the Mr. Snuggle Hugs disaster behind them, Rimington's Fist CEO Sophia Rimington today announced a brand new product that already has the markets buzzing with interest. This groundbreaking product came as quite a shock when it was revealed earlier today, though its critics are skeptical that the young CEO can fulfill her promises. Described as a breakthrough far ahead of its time, the male contraceptive pill is heralding a sexual revolution. Its fans are celebrating the fact that men can finally take equal responsibility for contraception. But others have expressed concerns over its safety and side effects. With that exclusive Prime Ministerial interview coming up later. And our very own Patrick Bannon live at the first annual Sports Board Final. You won't want to miss a second of tonight's National, National Nightly News. News. considerably. For some, the transition has not been as pleasant. That's right, Megan. The formerly aristocratic members of our society have had to make major adjustments to come to terms with the new regime. Robin Short is in suburbia investigating rumours that these previously privileged people may be planning some kind of protest. Robin? Thanks, Megan. I'm here in moderate hatching to talk to Wentworth and Penelope Somerset Bentley, who were relocated to the house you see behind me after advance passed the Assets and Wealth Act on their first day in office. Tell me, how are you settling into your new lives? Well, quite frankly, Robin, we're not settling in at all. Our neighbours are white waters. It's simply untenable. I hope you'll forgive my language, but it's steaming as a Wednesday hatch basket with too much spatting. Steady now, Penelope. Sorry, Robin, my sister's under a lot of pressure. She had to dress herself this morning and she still hasn't quite recovered, Robin. Oh, oh, my, my goodness, that must have been quite a shock. She really struggles with ribbons, Robin. Well, at least you've been rehoused in a nice big house. Big house? This grubby little dad has spat. Have you had one staircase? And the breakfast room and the dining room in the same bloody place. Imagine that, having all one's grub in one room. What room, Robin? So what would you say to the people that feel that your family has had it far too easy for far too long and that these redistributions are both fair and just? I hardly think we've had it easy for fussel's sake. Only one of our swimming pools was even heated. But realistically, what can you do? Well, you've asked the right bloody question, Robin. Thank you, Wentworth. I wasn't the youngest ever editor of the Swinstead Middle School Enquirer for no reason. I think our toilet butler was from Swinstead. Dear George, oh, I wonder what happened to him. <gasps> Daddy tried to shoot him in the buttocks and he ran off into the woods. Oh, and that's probably my last happy memory, Robin. Tragic, but what can you do? We will rise and rebel. We wage war on our revolting rulers with righteous words and rebellious writings. Our best guess in our quest for redress is to divest our breasts and an undress bear just protest! Oh, what's that? Daddy! Daddy, it's Daddy! Something. Please don't do that. We can't show this on the news. Right, you buggers! Tilly who? <laughs> Tilly! Get the dog! Tilly's our mummy. She's proper oh, dressed oh, off, oh, too. Uh, well, at least you are showing sunshade. Somerset Bentley, glad to meet you. <laughs> See, the protest has started already. Nice sharp work, boys. Nice, it gets that for me, you know. 
Uh, but, and forgive me, what are you trying to achieve here? We just want to be spudding well heard, that's all. Oh, language, Penelope. We are new, not rude. Sorry, Daddy. We want the world to realise we won't roll over and run away. We will revolt. We will rise again. Yes, we bloody well will. Well, Jeremy, Megan, as this embryonic protest movement takes one of the top ones, it's back here in the studio. I'm Robin Short, struggling surreptitiously in moderate hatchings. That shaft work to last me a lifetime. I'm sure you have. But uh, can a naked protest movement ever really catch on? It doesn't seem like the way we do things in this country. But as I'm sure you're aware, Jeremy, this country is becoming a very different place. Yes, but seriously, who's going to run around naked in our way? Um, hopefully not you, Jeremy. Yes, well, there wouldn't be enough canvas for the slogans. <laughs> When we come back, our very own Patrick Bannon will be live from the Sports Board Finals. Stick around, you won't want to miss it. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back. Oh, sorry, I'm busting. Oh. He's funny. Yes, I know. He's very endearing. Why is it raining on my desk? Alex Bolton, we're getting reports in that naked protesters might try and spoil the sports board final by waving their fleshy bits about. Try and make sure you don't broadcast it. It's 6 p.m. for God's sake. No one wants to see fannies on the news. Bozeman out. But I always say welcome back. I think we should just keep it as it is. Well, of course you do. I've got one half line. What's that supposed to mean? I didn't write it, Jeremy. That's all right, fine. Jenny, there's something wrong with the auto cue. Ten seconds. Oh, I just got the drip again. Have they not fixed this? You want to see us fry? It's good for the ratings. Five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Oh, I'm Megan Wolf. Coming up later, we'll be speaking to the Prime Ministers about their exciting new healthcare facilities, transition centres. Nice to see they care. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Jeremy. But first, we're going now to our own Patrick Bannon, who's reporting live from the finals of the new game that's gripping the nation, Sports Board. Patrick? That's right, Megan. You join me live here from the final of the first annual Sports Board Championship. It's been a hotly contested competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other all season. First up, we have Ellie Stryker, she's the more experienced of our two players today. Stryker has got an accuracy of 7, a danger rating of K, and a 12-month driving ban. Stryker's known for her signature move, the Eel Andy Hamster. And facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs, 14 finishes, and a divorce pending. It's Mr Wingspan himself, Tommy, the fingernail Harris. Just waiting on the ref now, the slapping ceremony is taking part. <laughs> Still going on. Uh, Striker, of course, uh, first to start as she won the trivia round earlier on by some margin. Uh, Harris, uh, perhaps the brawn and not the brain. Stupid. Eddie Striker. Nice start there from Striker. She's determined not to let the nerve show. Uh, not up to last time. On to Mr. Harris now, Tommy. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Bad shot there from, uh, from Harris. Back to striker for shot number three. All right. She's gone to sort of throw you under her legs. Uh, not bad, if you ask me. To Harris. Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted out. Back to Harris now. A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. Football. Move back. 
Changing off the ends. And of course, now they go back to the starting positions as that makes sense. Striker giving it large. Second round, Ruble and Harris. Winter round two now with Harris. Okay, okay. we seem to have some sort of streak on the pitch. I apologize if we broadcast any of that stuff. Um, she appears to have slogans across her breasts and arse. Um, uh, try and ignore all of that security. I'm sure we're going to take them out as soon as possible. Uh, Apologise if uh, we we broadcast any of that. As I said, um, we're going to get the situation resolved as soon as possible. Um, uh, they're trying to carry on play, but it's probably a bit difficult, and I'm struggling to follow because um, uh, it's quite an eyesore. And um, women's body, yeah. All right, great. Okay, so back into round two now, uh, and how is absolutely determined to close that massive gap. Eddie Striker. You no, know, it's just one of the tightest play I've seen ever. Harris. And was that the fitted thumb screw? We haven't seen that since the heat. What a brilliant move. Back to striker. And we know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That is, of course, the ground sound. Excellent bit of play here on both sides of the bucket. I don't know about you, but I find the technical mastery of this play here absolutely blooming, jaw dropping. The ref has spotted something in uh, Harris's neck or head. And Harris is having an absolute shocker. What a miserable start there. It was Tommy Harris. Uh, but he is a late bloomer, of course, boys. And after all, it is a game of two halves. Four rounds and seven subjects. But now, of course, it's time for the half time show. Sponsored by Wimington Switch. On my whistle, on my whistle. Nice piece of music here to start with. Oh, nice show. OK, another posh focus to loose on the court here. We can only apologise for that. Um, we'll do our best to shield you from having to look directly at it. Um, he's uh, running around here with his genitals uh, on display for all to see. Um, and uh, ruining what was shaping up to be quite the dance interlude there. Um, now he's thrusting himself in, uh, in Harris's face. Security's on it. Uh, and the bucket's been knocked over! I cannot stand him when the bucket gets knocked over. Um, hopefully he'll get taken out now. Um, uh, genitals flying around for all to see. Um, really, if you ask me, not Sunday morning television. Um, and uh, out of there, uh, hopefully uh, taken away, never to be seen again. Final pose, final pose. <laughs> cannot be at the final pose. And a lovely finish there on both sides of the bucket. I wouldn't like to call that one. Uh, and as we head into round three, I'd love to know what's going on in these two players' heads. Uh, but unfortunately, because of science, we can't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not bad. Well, that ball boy's giving me the eye all the other day. Uh, striker there, not a great start. Um, she looks a bit flustered, I think, after all that swinging around. Back to Harris here. But what I wouldn't give to be that ball. I'm all right, ladies. Tommy Harris. And it dribbles down his arm, which is actually a really good move, because of course if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. Back to striker. And striker's gone for the animal bonus there, but of course perhaps... And yes, Harris has come in with a tiny bell. That is wonderful play. Of course we've seen that before. Look at her face. She is absolutely gutted. What a mug. Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Um, Harris receives possession now. Uh, Harris to serve now. Um, Harris, of course, undefeated by Kestrel in his last four battles. Um, here we go. Tommy Harris. That's all right. <laughs> Not bad there. He threw it quite far away from him, which is quite a good idea. Very clever there. <laughs> Perhaps a little contact with on the referee. Who's been, if you ask me, a little bit harsh. Ellie Striker. She's let the nerves get to her. What the hell was that? You hate to see it, don't you? You cannot believe it. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, like, I'm in the mess now. I, I don't know what I can be doing about this. Um, 
mean, a sort of uh, uh, breasts and genitals all to see. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Um, they, they're forward everywhere, aren't they? Uh, all right, I'll, I'll try and carry on. Um, the players are trying to carry on, but of course it's difficult because um, because these protesters are uh, hoping we can get them taken off soon so we can carry on with the match. Oh, okay, what's going on here? Yes, yes. We want our money. Yes, very good. Take them away. <laughs> Bloody wasters. Absolute wasters. It's an absolute bloody... OK, and now we're going to go into the final round. Um, and of course, as it's a Tuesday, the final round is a mime round. Who could believe it? Uh, nice imaginary shot there from uh, Harris. It really could go in there at this point. Um, really high level play here from two hats and juggernauts off the sport. Hold. Uh, the bucket getting moved back to its proper place. About time, if you ask me. She's uh, juggling it around from her hands. And she's uh, put it in her mouth like as if it was an egg. And now she's... Um, and she's spat it out! She did the egg spit. So uh, a wonderful move there, quite late on, uh, from Stryker. But she's in it to win it. On it, like a car bonnet. Uh, Tommy Harris here, having a bit of beef. And he's peeling it as if it were a banana, which is an interesting move. Um, not sure if he had any potassium or what's going on today with us. And he's trying to have a banana with the ball! What a fantastic move there from Harris! Unfortunately, that is the end. What a pathetic... There we go, Jeremy, that is over. How can he look his eight-year-old son in the face tonight? What a lump! Uh, we just have to wait for the referee now to announce it to make sure it is all official. Mm -hmm. Contestants in, please. And the winner of the first annual Sports Board Championship is... again a win for everyone uh, including me as my 15th win in the sports board championship um, i'm going to be celebrating tonight with my wife and children uh, another wonderful victory for me uh, here come the on-site security to collect their medals uh, their six and seven respectively um, and thanks again for watching the uh, sports board championship uh, what more is there to say i'm patrick bannon um, looking forward to celebrating tonight um, and all i've always have to say jeremy is back to you in the studio but Patrick Bannon there had an extraordinary fight. Historic sports board, Jeremy. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, yeah, I can wrench a doubler with the best of them, I'll have you know. I certainly wouldn't bet against you. And when we come back, <laughs> I'll be talking live with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, who apparently have a big announcement you wouldn't want to miss. That's coming up after these messages. One minute back. Fucking microphone struck me. What? Fucking microphone just dropped me. Where's that sound guy? Everything okay? Well, the mics are just trying to kill us now, Pat. But you'll be fine. You're unshockable. <laughs> I'm immune to your cheap black. I'm wearing you down. Works one again. Just heard from the chaps in maintenance that the storm is causing the old power surge, so your controls might be a bit uh, dangerous. Now, I know you're tough and you can take the old shot for the sake of perfect news broadcast, but too many in quick succession can stop the old ticker. I'm sure you'll make the right decisions. Who's been out?